What's up guys, I'm standing out in my driveway, wanted to give you a little uh, update on uh, what I've been doing with the dyno. Uh, I had it out here before, and I'd uh, just right out here in the driveway, run it. Uh, but it's loud. Uh, I had a turbo small block on it, and uh, with the two water hoses, all I could get was 500 pounds of torque before the water brake just gave up. So I need more water, quieter location. In case you pan around here, you see the houses all around me. So I don't want to disturb the neighbors. I need more water. I can't afford industrial park. I wanted to put a building up right here just for the dyno, take this tree down and uh, try to build a soundproof room in it. But that's a lot of money to spend on something I'm not certain to work. So I've got a perfectly good shed Let's see here, out in the backyard. And I've been working on it out there. You see the big old chimney coming up out the back of it. I'll take you guys back there and show you what I've been up to. Okay, so here's the shed. I've built a dyno cell inside of it. You may notice it's not square. That was somewhat intentional to help with sound, but I imagine it would do a lot better if it were more irregularly shaped. There's still some stuff in here. Big block parts here. and. Model A frame, I beam, and some transmissions and whatnot. Stuff I wanted to keep inside that wouldn't go in the house. This thing was completely packed full. I mean, packed full. And uh, a lot of it was just junk. So some of it got hauled off. Some of it got stuck back here in the wood pile, covered up. Some of it went in the garage, and some went in the house. Anyway, here's the cell, what I've got done so far. Motors in here to uh, help with sizing and it's really in the way. Haven't built the back wall yet but I've got an air gap on the walls so that should help with the lower frequencies. I'm going to line this whole thing with at least six inches of fiberglass bat and put screen over it. That should take care of the higher frequencies. I've got this big hole out the back for the air to go into my chimney it's going to get lined with glass as well. And then I have this gigantic muffler that I've built. It's probably not as big as some of you have seen, but it's big enough, I hope. Uh, this first stage here is a three-chambered reactive muffler. Uh, all the different lengths of the chambers and the tubes connecting the chambers are quarter wavelengths and quarter wavelength times odd numbers. Um, all obviously small small quarter, like quarters and times three um, trying to take care of uh, frequencies in the uh, 60 to 530 Hertz range um, and then on top of that is a big glass pack muffler that I built um, its overall heights like 100 inches and uh, it's longer internal passages um, should outbreathe the murder we'll find out we'll stick a I think I'm gonna stick a magna helix in that port right there so I can watch pressure. Uh, I still need to build the back wall, which is what I'm probably going to do today. I've uh, finished the back wall, made a feed through to go outside, and uh, sealed it up with expanding foam so the air doesn't come back into the shed, and gone along and sealed the cracks. Now I'm going to start working on fiberglass. I'm going to start back here because it's going to be the least seen. and. It'll be the hardest to do. I run it all the way up to the top. I'm gonna make a cover, a flapper. Cover the top. Keep the rain out. All right, so I've been doing some of the fiberglass. I got the chimney done and started on the walls. Uh, wearing a respirator. Glass doesn't seem to bother my skin, but I don't like breathing it. Uh, been up and down the chimney, in and out the chimney, in and out the room. Neighbors probably think I built this kind of meth lab or something. I don't know if you can hear it, but the neighbors behind me are trimming some trees and they got a wood chipper going. And if we step inside, see it already quiets down quite a bit. Like I said, I got the chimney done. I haven't put screen on it. I had the blower going last night. It didn't seem to be blowing any loose particles. Um, got the back wall done, screened in. Uh, the glass I'm using is uh, six inches deep 
Um, it, I originally wanted to build anechoic wedges out of fiberglass, but uh, quickly figured out that to uh, absorb frequencies down to 20 hertz, they'd need to be six foot deep, and my room is only six foot wide, so I don't have room for that. But these are six inches, they should take care of the higher frequencies. Uh, I had the boombox there, cranked all the way up, firing at the chimney last night, and I couldn't, I could hear it, but I couldn't uh, understand anything that was coming out of it up top. So uh, hopefully this is going to work. I built this here uh, plenum inlet box thing to cover the fan, and uh, so there's the fan, and it has insulation, and then there's more insulation here. So hopefully the sound comes through, gets absorbed by this insulation, and then whatever bounces off gets absorbed by this insulation. I think I'm going to need to put something on this back wall here. And I'm going to need to cut an inlet in the, some kind of intake on the side of the shed to let air in, otherwise I'm going to leave the door open. There's the, what it looks like from the inside. I don't know if you can hear noise coming in. Oh, shut the door. I need to put a handle. It's pretty quiet in here. Is the door shut? All right, that's enough for today. I've got the uh, all the insulation installed, and the screen to hold it in place. I've got the fan installed and the duct for it. Um, hopefully, the next video I'll be installing the water tank. I have a 300-gallon tank coming. Don't know how well, how much, how many pulls I can make with that, but we'll see. Um, pumps on the way. I need to get the controllers hooked up and hopefully be making some pulls soon. So, thanks for watching.